right guys, so let me show you how to drain the oil out of the lower unit. You need a really big flathead screwdriver. And my vice isn't on there very good, but break it loose like that. I hope you don't have a bunch of water coming out like I see coming out of here. Oh, that's a really bad sign. That is a really bad sign. That's what you don't want to see. So if you can see that, that's just water coming out of the lower unit. There's a little oil now. So we had a lot, a lot of water in there. Not a lot of oil. So my friend is not going to be too excited to hear that, but there must be a, a some sort of seal probably here by the prop. I see some weeping in this area, and I'm wondering if it leaked out through back here. And that's uh, quite a possibility. We might have to take a look at that as well. So we'll let this drain out. I'm gonna also open the vent up here if we can. Nope. Don't want to open for me. There it goes. Sometimes you'll get a lot more oil coming out once you open that. There you go. And you want to watch out because there's these little O-rings. You want to make sure that those get lost. I don't see one on this plug. This is probably still in there. Either that or it did fall off and that's why all the water got in the lower unit. Because the water, the oil floats on top of the water so usually when you drain water, drain it out and you get water, that'll be the first thing that's going to come out. Um, I think we're going to have to pull off the uh, whole propeller to see what's going on behind there once all this oil finishes draining out. I don't see any... Oh, there is a gasket on there. Yep, I do see it now. It's a blue gasket on there. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this plug back in, in the bottom. Sure you get it threaded in there correctly. This is some of the stinkiest oil I've smelled in a long time. There we go. Let's put that in back in place. And then we should be able just to pull the propeller right off. Looks like this little washer goes in front of it. So I'll just put this back the way we found it. And there you go, there's your drive shaft. And pull this off and it looks to me, oh yeah, let's see if we can get a flashlight in there. Check this out. This could be your problem.